Hi Aries, welcome to your daily reading. This is actually for uh, Sunday the 21st of 21, so it's 2121. Uh, this is a good energy, I like it. So let's see what the energies are coming in for Aries for the daily. And then someone did ask, am I doing next 48s? Yes, <laughs> I am gonna be doing um, a ton of tarot. So to be all 12 next 48 coming out today. So Holy Angels and Holy Spirits, what are the messages for Aries? Sun is in Aries. Um, Mars is in Gemini. So the third house is where people are being very independent, assertive. The energy of Aries is currently in the third house of communication and siblings, short distance day trips but mostly it has to do with communication spoken and written and people are being very assertive aggressive maybe um, okay so let's see what we have here coming in third house energy though is ruled by mercury and mercury is about also about communication and Mercury is in Pisces, the house of the subconscious mind, which rules over our fears and our imagination. So not sure how that would play out, but let's see. Energies for Aries for today, messages, a five of coin. This is um, the fear of being left out in the cold has to do with feelings of shortages. Wow, in the crossing, we have emperor. Power, authority, control, um, self-empowered energy of, this is the energy of Aries when it's on the Deccan, the first Deccan of Taurus. So it's somebody who is powerful and strong, but they could be stubborn, like Taurus. Um, Taurus energy is here. It's like, you can be very stubborn. Um, you want things your own way but it's basically someone here who is in control of our own empire two of swords is in the crossing a decision that's needing to be made king of pentacles recent past taurus capricorn virgo money wealth or abundance three of cups is here happiness celebration good times reunions and a two of coin you're trying to find balance you're trying to maintain balance. What do we have here coming in as Aries energy? Wow, five of cups or eight of cups walking away. Uh, not interested in the situation. Your feelings aren't there. Your heart's not in it. Nine of wands is around you. A wounded warrior, someone here who is, they feel like giving up, but they feel like they're in a struggle as well. The moon is here. The moon is there's a, you're afraid of what you can't see or what you don't know or mysterious energies of um, things that are hidden. Okay, Empress energy comes out as the outcome. Very positive. So the Empress is about financial wealth, abundance, love and beauty. And it's about all things that are very abundant. Self-care is there. Okay, wow. So we have a page of cups and a nine of cups. Somebody shows you love or they bring you a message of love. And apparently it makes you feel really happy. It affects the way you're feeling. Okay. Okay. Page of cups brings you the nine of cups. Wow, ten of pentacles is on the bottom. Okay, let's see here. There's a lot of like struggle energy. I mean, it's like you almost feel like quitting. You're trying to stay balanced. You're kind of confused. You have a big decision to make. Three of Cups is here. What is Two of Swords? Page of Pentacles and the Star. Trying to have a fresh start, a new beginning. Maybe trying to release a person. 
Six of coin and the devil. There's something here about obsession, either with money or with material wealth or something like that. What is the three of cups? Three of wands. Turning your back on someone, ignoring someone. We have temperance, patience, balance, cooperation. Very self-motivated energy, but it's almost like you don't feel like you're getting what you want out of a situation. What is two of pentacles? Okay, there's a two of cups. Maintaining balance, trying to find balance. There is love here. There's something negative around financial fin finances. Like something here is like not... There's a negative energy around finances. There's a dark... What What is the Eight of Cups here? What is the Eight of Cups? You feel like walking away. Nine of Air. There's a lot of mental stress or anxiety around the situation that doesn't feel fulfilling to you. And that could be a relationship for sure. Um... You're wanting power or someone, it could be that someone wants to be in, like, in power. You come up, there's an Empress energy at the end of this, though, um, with a happy outcome. Okay, what is, um, there's someone around you that feels wounded, they feel guarded. Nine of Wands is like... The warrior who's been in battle. What is Nine of Wands? What is Nine of Wands? Six of Swords. I think you're blocking a person or they're blocking you. There's like a lack of communication. But it's for the best. It's to have peace. Okay, why do we have Empress? What is the Empress about? Self-care, self-love, very abundant, um, the chariot, victories, moving forward. I wanted to show you, there was, um, a, there was the chariot below. So chariot energy is about overcoming obstacles, moving forward. It could be a person who's coming towards you. What is the three of cups energy? Celebrations, it's happy times. There's a queen of water, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or someone who is showing you love and compassion. What is the two of cups? What is the two of cups? Why do we have two of cups here? The last judgment. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, I don't feel there's something here about a big decision. I don't feel like there is harmony. Um, because if there's eight of cups, there's nine of swords, there's like a lot of discontent. What is the star? Okay, yeah, there's trying to let go of a three of swords situation. There's heartbreak or pain that you're trying to release. Um, there's two knights again. Knight of rods, knight of coin. Hmm. Two people coming in. What is eight of cups? What's trying to he's trying to walk away from? Okay, so we have here the fool. Wanting to break free, wanting to have a new beginning, a new journey. Ace of coin is here. There's an opportunity. Two of coin is here. Trying to balance or juggle. We have a tower and the empress. There's something here very unexpected happening with this empress energy. The chariot was there. There's a page coming forward with the nine of cups. So it's like a wish coming true. Death card on the bottom, a change, permanent change. It could be Scorpio. Six of coin. Wow. Two of air. Justice. Strength. Seven of coin. Eight of cups. 
You're wanting to walk away from a conflict. Somebody who here is divisive, maybe they like to argue a lot. King of Pentacles is here with an Ace of Cups. But that sort of presents a conundrum for you. Like, do I want to be with somebody else or do I want to walk away from a long-term commitment that causes me a lot of stress, a lot of mental stress? So if you have Aries in your chart, like Aries and Pisces at five degrees, I don't believe this would apply to you because this is it for Aries Sun, Aries Moon, and it has to be at a high degree of Aries energy. Otherwise, this won't resonate. But um, for Aries folks, this is about a choice. This is about a choice to go in a new direction, perhaps with someone else. When your current situation makes you confused, heartbroken, and sad, you've been patient with a person here, probably very loving to Queen of Cups energy. What is, what is the Queen of Cups? Nine of Coin, self-sufficiency, independence, earth energy. You're confused about a page of pentacles. What is the page of pentacles? The three of rods. There's something here about waiting for a ship to come in. Waiting to, you know, waiting for that ship. Very motivated. You could be ignoring your current partner um, what is the six of air in the environment? The ace of swords, you get the truth, you get clarity about a person. Um, basically, okay, there's a person around you that causes you stress. They are also stressed, but it's kind of like, well, oh well, you have a choice to make here. The last judgment is here which is major arcana. It's a big deal. It's not just, oh well, two of swords. It's actually the last judgment, which, which is a big deal. King of rods, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Empress in the chariot. That can be, you want to get out of a situation as well. The Hierophant. Yeah, I was just thinking this could be ethics and morals, differences in religion. Um, differences in belief systems because we have the two of cups the three of swords two of swords nine of air for you eight of cups it's like you want out hangman you feel stuck the Sun okay could be Leo could be that you're gonna have an epiphany about this situation what is the chariot there is a page of cups and a nine of cups coming nine of rods Chariot is wanting to move on, move forward. What is Nine of Cups? Queen of Pentacles. Earth sign queen energy. And there's a five of air. There's somebody here who wants to fight with you, perhaps over money. Um, you're going to come out ahead in this situation. Ten of coin on the bottom again. The hermit getting the advice of an expert. And then the death card, a major change, six of coin, king of air, eight of coin. That's like, look at the details of a contract, the death card and the queen of air, or I mean the devil and the queen of air. This is like fighting for justice in a situation when you feel like something's not fair, something's not right. So you're going to get clarity and truth in the environment if you avoid this conflict. The heartbreak. You stay away from it. Um, it's like you've been patient. You've been compassionate. You've been showing love. And the other person does not. The other per person has different morals and values. Judgment in the Hierophant. Movement, choices, and decisions. Two of Wands energy. For Aries. Accelerated motion. An emotional withdrawal, pulling away, two eights, eight, eight.
this is like you have a big choice to make. Something could happen quickly. Foundation and achievement, a four. It's like four of wands, four of pentacles. Okay, rejoice and celebration. Three of Cups is here. And the hangman's on the bottom. So you could feel stuck in a situation, but you will be getting out of it. Um, I feel like, though, your energy is the fool with the Ace of Coin. In this case, it's like you have to take that leap of faith and throw your burdens aside. Ten of Cups, the Destiny. Patience and planning. And the spiritual union. And the new beginning. Look at this. So some of you could be stepping into a new beginning with a new person. Um, basically, you have a choice to make. Like, do I want to stay with a heartbreaking, horrible situation? Firm foundation is here. Um, it's kind of an emperor energy, deception and envy. There's some kind of negative situation. Solar plexus, power. With that emperor and the crossing, I feel like there could be like a control freak around you. Here's empress with nine of cups again. Empress and nine of cups and balance, temperance, moving on. Moving on, positive forward movement, and then a new beginning with Ace of Coin. You could be dealing with a stubborn person too, firm foundation. Um, someone who's really stubborn. and It could be you as well, but if you're the one with the heartbreak, I don't know. I don't, I don't see how. I think it's you. Aries can be the warrior, but Aries can also be... Breaking free and saying, you know what, I'm done. Um, so we have the death card, transformation. Surrender. There's transformation happening for your highest good. The best is yet to come. Yes. Oh, healing the inner child. This could be also do something fun. It could also be you're just sort of replaying a situation that you went through when you were little. Like you're replaying a situation again and again. Pure intentions. Manifest your heart's desire with pure intentions. Manifestation on the bottom. So there's magical energy surrounding this situation. Um, it basically looks to me like you're in a tough spot, but you're going to have a choice. You're going to be given, the universe will provide you with an option. Like, you can take this option. Um, things will get easier, I feel, if you choose a, a different way, either a different approach, a different person, something different than what you're doing now. Because... Isn't that thing, um, insanity is repeating the same thing over and over that doesn't work? So there's something here about with the tower needing to break the chain, break the um, pattern, break the soul contract. Oh, seek peace. And having a deep sense of inner knowing.
TikTok. Something is like has to do with time. Between worlds is on the bottom. To me, um, I had a feeling or an epiphany that everything is a hologram. So whatever you want it to be to change it, you just have to decide that it's going to change. Otherwise, you're just living in a hologram. So it's like a holographic universe. If you want to change it now, you can change it now. You can change it anytime you want. Um, you're living in whatever your belief is. So if you, in your heart of hearts, don't believe it's going to change, then it won't. So if you're in your heart of hearts, you believe, I'm going to change this situation, it's going to change, then it will change because of your vibration and you're changing the hologram. I had that epiphany the other morning and I realized, wow, it's really true. Here we have indecision. So if you're waiting, sort of like passive on the couch, like an observer waiting for change, I don't think so. I think you have to change your vibration, change your deep sense of knowing, and you change it. And then the, the universe will respond. Because it shows the Aries sort of stuck in a lot of indecision here with the hangman, the two of swords, the three of swords. It's like I'm stuck in the pain. How do I get out? What do I do? I just want to walk away. Third chakra, focus on your joy. You know, all the bracelets I make are for chakra unblockaging, unblocking, because um, when all your chakras are blocked, you stay in the pain. You just stay because you don't even know. So you can't just wear the bracelet and then just. You know, I mean, actually, the energy of the bracelet will help you unblock, but then you have to mentally change, too. Wow, we got the card of victory. So, like I said, only for manifestation, mental, you know, you're, vib you're vibrating that things will change. Things will change. Um, you're never going to change another person, envy. Um you're never going to change them. You're going to change your holographic universe, not theirs. You're not here to change someone else's hologram. You're only here to change yours. So, um, I deeply believe that, that it is real, but it's real for whatever you make it to be real. So I'm going to leave it at that. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please check out my website, starseed1111.com, and I will have the next 48s for all zodiacs later today. Thank you, and take care.